Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to this reading. Now, we are going to do a weekly reading for July 24th through to 30th. We are entering Leo season indeed. Empowerment and courage and confidence. Yay. All right, Sag. Have you checked your sun, moon and rising and Venus sign and all the signs that you have in your chart and explore what is, what is connecting you with? Because lately I have to say I resonate more with my moon sign rather than the sun. So you might get more in-depth information on detail in those videos as well. Let's have a look. General moods and what's going on in this week. Hmm. Mature woman, main male wealth. I have to say it's interesting, like different signs, some some got more strong, strong female energy, you know, the mother, the businesswoman, the lady, the main lady in a, in a, in the life. But main male hello you've been around in june especially you were around a lot and wealthy man mm -hmm. now what's going on we have the spare we have main male wealthy man and mature woman okay so what i'm seeing here is there is some sort of decision making divide and you know what sometimes you might have 10 things going in your life and one thing is really bothering you. Even though the rest of nine are perfect, as perfect they can be, it feels like something in your life is troubling you to the point. I wouldn't be surprised to see um, eight of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords in this reading. Because something is bothering you. Or you don't know how to deal with this. It could be regarding money. It could be regarding a relationship or a family member. Or it doesn't matter. Even though the other stuff in your life is good but that one thing is taking up your energy one thing is actually draining you let's have a look maybe you want to change or you don't want to change something is really sitting in your chest you need to get off your chest but let's find out Sage, what is this what are we talking about what this pair is about new beginning your soul it could be regarding some sort of spiritual events are happening because this is a card of spirit this is a card of your soul this is the first card in in major account some sort of new beginnings maybe something you want to start and it's not starting or it's starting and you're concerned maybe you want to start new work or or something is really sitting on your mind let's find out more and it's interesting, the Six of Pentacles keep coming out. There is some sort of opportunity given to you. But you are, for some reason, you are not sure whether to take this. <laughs> here we go, the Ten of Swords is here. Okay. It could be that... Oh, right, I can see. Oh, here we go. We have the Nine of Swords as well. And Two of Swords. Okay, the whole full house nearly. Now, from that... Either you are... <laughs> And might not resonate with every one of you. Either you are rebelling against your current community, family, belief systems, religion, the I in kind of general um, ideologies. That could be for some people. That could be really, really resonate. Not everyone. But I feel like you want to break free. You want this to end. It feels like you're waiting for that green light. You're literally waiting for the universe to give you that green light that you can move on. Because it feels like something is suffocating you. And you're just like, you have, you're literally down, pinned down to the ground. And it's going too slow. Either someone's controlling your money, someone's controlling the way you live, what you think, where you can or can't go. You have big dreams here, but you're tied up again. It's literally you one step ahead, three steps back. It's constantly you're trying to find a way how to break free. And it's like, no, yes, no, yes. And you just can't get anywhere. 
cards. Advice in this. Sagittarius, what's going on? Interestingly, three, two is five, and we got the five here. Yeah, shadow side, and we have the nine swords again. Who is controlling you? Are these the habits? Is that like genuinely mental anxiety? And that can sometimes be meant like anxiety or depression is a thief. It steals your life. Hence, if that's the case, it's very important to speak to someone and discuss. And it's hard sometimes with people you know, so maybe you need to reach out to someone who is um, a professional. And here we go, eight swords again. Okay. Now, with shadow side here, sometimes it seems that the fear is controlling you, even though it's not true. We can choose either we go with love or fear. And sometimes we feel like we have no choice, we do. It feels like, I know if it's a family, you can't perhaps choose who you are, what is your family. But it feels like you are hanging around and sacrificing yourself or someone, like you're sacrificing your life for something or someone. But you're trying to weigh, you're kind of trying to find the way out. Your teamwork, your team member, your team player, you're trying, you want to please or you want to keep peace. But what happens then? You start the war inside yourself. Let's have a look. Ten of Swords again. Mm -hmm. For some of you, maybe you want to be with a person that rest of your family or community is not supporting or you want to do things that are not supported or are so crazy bonkers and you kind of fear what someone is going to tell what they're going to think whenever we have the sun though the lucky opportunity is going to come and you got to be ready to go with it choice is yours the choice is yours at some point, you will have to make that decision. You want to keep everyone health, else happy, everyone else happy, but yourself miserable. Yeah. Here, you feels like you want to connect with really. It feels like you, you are missing kind of like-minded people. You want to look, and the, the mood completely changed. Yes, there is a person you want to be with, perhaps who you know before. Or feel like you want to feel happy as you were before. It doesn't have to be the same person. Well, Empress is a mother. Maybe you want to start a new family. You want to start a new business. And with the two of cups and the nine of cups. Dream come true. There's some person perhaps. Or place. Or work. Or whatever you do. Is something that could fulfill your cup. Hmm. Interesting. The six of swords is constantly popping in my uh, provisional i can see constantly as i'm shuffling as if like you are taking that decision to move away shift your beliefs about yourself what you want to do and ace is beginnings starting new work starting new chapter in your life new passion new love wealthy man let's have a look what you're going to tell us <laughs> seven of pentacles And the strength. And nine cups. And here she is back again. Yeah. Interesting. You are. You're going to be challenged. Saj. It's not going to come easy as you would like to. You will have to take some measures. And make some. Um, bold decisions. That are going to pay off. It feels like you're branching on your own. Look. Perhaps you're actually traveling away. And looking forward. You're going to stand up to yourself. You're going to be saying things um, out and loud. And you're going to be proud of yourself. You don't need to be rude or disrespectful. But it's just speak your truth. Speak your mind. And let yourself free from whatever is holding you back. What your subconscious mind would like you to know. Rest. 
you're tired. This situation has really drained you. And it feels like your body, mind and spirit needs some nourishment. Good night's sleep. Good conversation. Maybe some meditation, some music. Just somehow you're charging yourself. Because you're going away. You're moving away from something. You're perhaps traveling. And moving away from something that was holding you back. What do angels want to know? Oh, wow. This is a dark night. Soul in a dark night, mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Look, look where this beautiful unicorn is coming out. It's coming from the dark. And you've been in the dark for some time. Okay? But you're coming into the light. You're seeking the light. You don't want to live in fear and hate. You want to want to live in love and joy. And that's where you're heading. That's where you're heading. Follow that guidance. Follow what angels and God is saying to you. And on that note, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence. And... Let me know in the comment section what you think, where you're from. Just say hi with emoji, whatever. And have a lovely week. And until then, 